Hi everybody, I try, I decided to make a video about uh, Walmart's park. Today I got uh, this trip, which I don't get this kind of trips that often, that pays that much because most of their trips, you know, sometimes people give you like three dollars tips, four dollars, sometimes no tip, and this one paid this much because that's if if this tips holds because the customer have 24 hours to change they might change it they might keep it who knows but even if they change it i still made good money because i only drove four miles so the good thing about this is uh there is two kind of deliveries with Walmart's park one of them is called shop and deliver and one is said uh, it's called curbside pickup this one is shop and deliver meaning that you the driver you go inside the store you do the shopping and then you deliver to the customer and those the ones I like to do but but you don't always get, get those so it's not like you have you have a filter like uber for example like you have a filter saying i don't want uber pet like uh, with walmart's park there is no filter saying oh i don't i only want shop and deliver so you you get what they send you that's if you accept it of course they will send you they will say oh they will tell you if it is a curbside pickup pickup or shop and deliver so if they tell you i mean if there is no shop and deliver, what are you gonna do? You just get the curbside pickup. I mean, it's still good good money, but the problem with the curbside pickup, especially in my market, is the problem is you go, sometimes you wait for the associate to bring the grocery, right? Sometimes they take 15 minutes, sometimes they take half hour, sometimes they don't even show up. The last time there is a store that is really known for being bad when it comes to timing and I avoid that store altogether but sometimes uh, if I'm close to there I just take a chance. So last time I waited 45 minutes at that store and I did it, I, I just canceled the trip. So it depends so you when it's it's you know when you're a new driver it's will take you time to figure out which store worth you know accepting the curbside pickups there is another store for example in my market they always and like 95 percent of the time they're on t they're they like they're on time like they will show up after five minutes ten minutes like at most but they're really good and that's the store I usually accept the curbs, uh, curbside pickups from, from them. But the other store, I, I, I even avoid it. I mean, I, but after the last time, I, I'm not going to even bother, even if I am there, unless they give me shop and deliver from there. So that's like, a, I just wanted to make a short video about uh, Walmart's park. This is one of the apps that I use to make money because, like I said before, I, ha I posted a video about Uber and I'm just, you know, you know, like trying to, you know, to help other drivers deciding, you know, if which, which app that, you know, worth working for. So my, my advice is don't limit yourself to one app. For example, don't limit yourself to Uber. Don't limit yourself to Lyft. Don't limit yourself to Walmart Spark. Don't limit yourself to Instacart. Don't limit yourself to Amazon Flex. I really tried all of these apps. Some of them I, like Amazon Flex, I did, it didn't work for me for some reason because they, they send you, you know, they will give you like they call it a block which is three hours and then they will give you like 30 different locations to for, to uh, like drop offs the problem is 
they will give you, for example, 20 of them near each other, but then, or, or, or 25 of them, like in the same area, but then of the sudden, the last five, they will send you like a, to an area which, which is like five to even eight miles away. And the other problem with, the, with that is, they sometimes you go and you can't you don't find the customer so sometimes you have to return the items and the three hours becomes four hours sometimes even five hours like one time it took me like five hours because i had to go back because i because they gave me like 30 items and eight of the customers w w were not there so i don't want to go back returning eight items you know so sorry about the background there is a there's uber going on of course somebody you know if you don't accept with uber somebody else would take it you know especially if it's uh you know if it, uh, if it pays you know like 150 a mile anyways so i one time i you know i uh, it took me like uh, three hour uh, delivery took about four and a half hours because most of the customers were they were not there and you, they tell you if the customer is not there you can't just leave it by the door you know so you have to return the items and it happened to be there was like eight so I had to finish some of them that I found the uh, people then I had to to go back drive back to to see if the other people are there but anyways I just didn't like uh, Amazon Flex. My favorite one is Walmart Spark, and I used to really make good money with Walmart Spark. The problem now with uh, I just gonna point out that the problem with Walmart Spark is I lately I am only getting the trips that send that they send directly to me because what they do if you're close to the store and depends like if you're close they will send the trip to you d directly but but the problem with Walmart Spark is I hear that and I noticed that uh, it's different because peop people the drivers some drivers using this thing called the BOT so it's a third party app and I, I don't really know exactly and I don't I can't confirm how many people try using it but I can tell that people are stealing orders using this app what what they do this app will allow them to take the trips before anybody else seeing them they will the, the so what happened is the app will basically steal the orders for them and I can tell there is something different with the app because before you will see the trips like they like you will tap on the trip you will see the details now I, I, I see a glimpse of the trip like the trips comes and goes right away so that tells you there is something going on and I called Walmart Spark about it and I, they told me we are working on it so I, I am I have a feeling that Walmart Spark themselves can't find a solution to this problem. That's what I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's my opinion. Because if they can fix it, you know, I, I can tell, you know, but but still the problem is still going on. So I don't know. I told them how to fix it, which is stop sending the trip as an open trip just send it to the drivers that are closer to the store if the driver close to the store does not accept it give it to the next one to the one second closest to the store that's that's basically what you should do but i don't know why they're not trying to to work hard on it maybe they're thinking okay as long as the business is going well we don't need to do nothing but that's not good for the driver like because me i had to i had to you know to start searching for other options because walmart park is not enough anymore for me so i signed with instacart and i'll talk about instacart in a different in a different video
Okay, but for now, I just, you know, wanted to, to share my experience with Walmart Spark. Eh? And I'll keep posting videos. Thanks for, uh, for uh, you know, for uh, watching the video. Thank you.